Let AI control your body. Let AI control your body. <clears throat> All right, guys. <clears throat> Okay, um, yeah, I mean, I've had one or two people say to me that, um, oh, you're getting ready for Christmas? And he's like, no, I'm not. Not, not at all. Uh, I couldn't really give a right title about Christmas these days, you know. But um, this this has all come about basically because I bought a couple of red bulbs the other week from a charity shop in in the city, right? Uh, considering my my light bulb had gone pop the night before or something, um, from my main light, I had to buy another bulb. I just saw two red bulbs sitting in a box in a charity shop, so I bought them. They were only a quid, so I just thought they were fucking do, you know. I don't really need bright light in here anyway. Uh, the other factor is that I bought a green curtain. And it's like, oh, get ready for Christmas. No. I actually bought the green curtains, green curtain for my spaceship, so, you know. Uh, <coughs> it is quite a big curtain, it's like 1.8 by 2.8 metres, so it can be cut, it can be restitched, and I could probably use it for two windows instead of just one, you know, so, for a tenner, for that, yeah, all day. All fucking day. <laughs> what a bargain. Um, <clears throat> but it, 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 it'll serve two purposes, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's... So I really want to get down to the spaceship and take some measurements for um, for the new bench seating and shit like that, you know. But yeah, it's uh, it's currently grinded. Can't do anything about it at the moment. <coughs> well, most of the time I can't even get down there to sort it out, so... You know, having no fucking transport now. And, uh... My spaceship's about 25 miles away. Top secret location. <laughs> so getting there is a pain in the arse for me at the minute. You know, and I hate relying on other people because, you know, I've tried to rely on other people in the past and it's just always a failure. <clears throat> so there's not much I can fucking do about anything these days, you know. If people want to believe um, demons, um, and yeah, I'll, I'll get I'll get into this a little bit because um, I was talking to a friend a little bit earlier, John Collins. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to make of that one. I mean, if you're spiritually devoid. Yeah, and you don't think it's real, then why attack somebody else about the same situation? 
Um, I mean, we already know half the planet is deranged anyway. Um, most people are moronic and they can't think about anything further than their fucking nose, really, can they? You know, so trying to get them to think about spirituality and all the rest of it uh, when they're actually dead inside would be quite an impossible feat for them. I don't think they would go along with it due to that. You know, and they'd be like, well, I don't believe in it, so why would I attack somebody over it? You know, but I, I suppose that's what these people do, isn't it? You know, they just make shit up and basically force it onto their target. Um, while they drag others into force it onto the target as well. It's all very fucking dodgy and insidious. But as far as it goes, I can't really see... I mean, th th this is just my, basically, my baseline that I would be thinking about is if I didn't believe in this, why would I attack somebody, somebody else that possibly would if I don't believe in it? It doesn't make sense, mate. Uh, would they figure that out? I don't know. I mean, the amount of fucking odd, strange behaviour I've seen in the last six years is fucking enough to, to tell me that people are, um, well, they're just fucking retarded, aren't they? You know, they're fucking brain dead. So I don't know. I don't know how that one's gonna play out, John. You know, I've got no idea. And as I said before, I'm not really that interested. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to leave it there. Fuck it. <coughs> uh, I'll catch you all later, dudes.